Hey, super sweet 90s guys. It's Rusty Greer fan here with you. And unlike you guys in your posh rooms there, your man caves, I am in my utility room. So let me point out a few things. That is dust. Hey, I managed to put up a couple posters to, for a decent background, but a uh, little painter's tape. You know, I do things with class around here. Hey, look, it's Christmas in June. Random carpet rolled up. You know, nobody's in it yet. Uh, but this is a response to the contest. Uh, what I like so far, I love how genuine you guys are. It reminds me of me around 2010 when I came back to the hobby. But uh, I think you guys love it even more than I do. <laughs> so that's kind of re-energized me a little bit. And uh, I do kind of miss some of the snark that I've got, but I love how much love you guys have for the hobby. Uh, as far as things you could do better, I'm going to kind of change something that I had suggested at first. At first, I had said kind of real guests in on telling their backstory about how they got into the hobby. I thought that would go a little long, get a little tired, um, but I was wrong. So far, it's been really cool. I didn't realize it was going to be the one-hour format. Um, it kind of fits in that. And so maybe going forward, when you have guys repeating, you could have uh, fun questions to ask them, like, what's a trade or sale you really regret? Or what's a guy you prospected that never turned out? How much of his crap did you gather up? Uh, that kind of a thing. I've got an old boss who did Roger Salkeld, of all people. Old Mariner's pitcher. So uh, I think that would be a good idea. Uh, second idea is for Matt, how about not eat blackberries and chia seeds before you do a video? Get my drift. Um, so finally, a story. Uh, some of you know I grew up in the Seattle area, or at least in my teens I was in the Seattle area during the peak of the card stuff, uh, Griffey time. It was a beautiful place to be. Um, there was a new card show one weekend near where I, I mean blocks from where I lived. And so I was pumped. This could be a new thing, um, but it turned out to be just a little conference room in a hotel. It was a terrible show. Uh, to kind of give you an example of how bad it was, I won the door prize, like they were having a door prize. It was a box of 1991 score series two football. There was like no prospects in it. Everybody had already flamed it. This was 97. Um, but before I left the show, I was like, man, I can't go away empty handed from a card show. That's insane. So one of my favorite uh, table setups, uh, a guy just had a bunch of singles kind of all spread out on his table with a sign in the middle, a handwritten sign. You've seen them before. It's like any five for $10 or something. Well, this was two for 10, which was kind of expensive to me back then. Um, that's kind of been a theme throughout my collecting is going cheap. And then my collection suffers from me being super cheap. So I said, let me get two cards off of this table of young guys and see what happens. And it turns out I was brilliant with my two picks. That doesn't usually happen. <laughs> the first one I don't have anymore. It was the best one. It was from 1997 Donruss Signature Millennium Marks, David Ortiz. And I'd heard of him, of course, at the time, I didn't even realize he was from the Seattle system. Uh, I did know that his name was David Arias at first. Uh, that ended up being a true rookie card of his with an autograph. I sold it way too early, so that part I screwed up on. But it was cool having that and feeling like I had guessed right or something like that. Uh, second was one I do still have. I guess I ended up getting two Hall of Famers. 1997 Donruss preferred cut to the chase gold die cut Vladimir Guerrero. Vladi too hottie. So um, they never really achieved much of a market. They're not serial numbered. As you can see, my webcam thing is about as good as Burroughs as far as picking up flash, but sexy gold. Let me see. Let me try one more time. And I've got no light coming in. See, I'm facing a wall here. I've got no, no light to light it up. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, that's glare. <laughs> that's glare from my monitor. Anyway, that was pretty cool. Two for ten. Uh, I don't think the Vlad is worth much of anything, but um, it was cool to pick up the Poppy signature, which I no longer have, but that's a story from 1997 Linwood, Washington. All right, guys, see you next podcast.